I'm just going to speak a few minutes about uh, what I, my presentation in the upcoming conference. Uh, my name is Andy Lloyd, and I'm uh, a university lecturer based in Gloucestershire in England. Uh, and I have a particular interest in the subject of Planet X. Um, this subject covers a great many domains, and I'm interested in several of them, one of them being the scientific search for the Planet X object, but also beyond that, what it potentially means on a mythological level, should it be discovered, uh, and the characteristics that myth presents about Planet X and whether that can inform the scientific search for uh, this object, which I believe it can. Uh, most scientists have, most scientists who are searching for Planet X, and there are some, um, tend to be quite dismissive about whether myth is in any way able to inform the search, but uh, I believe that there is some evidence to suggest that it can. So uh, I've written several books on the subject of Planet X. The first one was called Dark Star, um, which put forward the proposition that Planet X took the form of a sub brand dwarf object, a very sizable planet, potentially sort of uh, more massive than Jupiter, that would lie some considerable distance from the Sun. I wrote a couple of novels following that to uh, invoke the idea of how a conspiracy theory might involve Planet X uh, over time and how that conspiracy theory would be fragile in terms of uh, the science uh, being able to <clears throat> eventually quash any um, government conspiracy to hide the truth from the people. And my new book will, will be coming out shortly, which is called Darker Stars, presents uh, the last 15 years of evidence that have been put forward, uh, some of which quite recently has been quite strong evidence to imply that uh, Planet X is real and that uh, this new evidence that's emerged about objects in the outer solar system and the way that they move around the sun has, uh, has created some significant uh, positive uh, re-engagement with the possibility that planet X exist, exists amongst some very top uh, astrophysicists and astronomers. So I will be presenting some of that uh, during this talk. Um, this subject splits the scientific community. Uh, there are a number of um, very uh, well-known um, planet hun hunters or object hunters out in the outer solar system um, who are quite convinced that a very sizable planet exists beyond Neptune uh, and they in equal measure have a huge number of skeptics who argue that they are mistaken and that the evidence that they're coming forward <coughs> with can have uh, other uh, plausible explanations and that there's no need to invoke the existence of planet X. But what's important here is that in the, across the internet where uh, discussions of Planet X are rife, um, it is often forgotten that uh, astronomers themselves are very keen to find out whether there is any truth in the possibility that such an object exists. So recently, in the last few years, uh, Planet X has been kind of rebranded um, to be known as Planet Nine. And the reason it's called Planet Nine is because the original nine planets in the solar system have been reduced to eight, uh, with planet, uh, the planet uh, Pluto being reduced to a dwarf planet. Uh, and to somehow compensate for the loss of Pluto, um, Planet X, uh, which could denote ten, but actually just denotes unknown, has become uh, Planet Nine. Uh, and this rebranding is, is an effort to remove the subject away from the controversial nature of Planet X in the media, which generally is regarding a doomsday planet, a planet that's going, is incoming and is going to cause uh, apocalyptic um, collisions and catastrophe and earth changes, and pole slips and all kinds of things. So astronomers don't like to be associated with those kind of, that kind of rumour mill uh, and do not actually, even the ones who are even slightly serious about Planet X, they don't believe that there is an incoming planet coming towards us right now. If one exists, it is some considerable distance away. Nonetheless, I'm very interested in this planet because, um, for, for me, um, I first got interested in this through the work of Zechariah Sitchin, who was discussing an object known as Nibiru, 
And for me, um, there is, a, I believe this to be a plausible scenario. I, I don't necessarily agree with everything that Zechariah Sitchin wrote. I think he probably extended his analogy too far. But it does seem to me that his, his concept of a, a planet X object in a comet-like orbit, which returns into the inner solar system uh, on a routine, albeit quite long period basis, um, could explain an awful lot of, about us and about our planet and about our civilization. And I'm very interested in whether such a planet could be habitable, scientifically habitable, and whether that habitability you, could lead to the possibility that out in the very outer solar system there is another intelligent um, civilization which is connected to ours, which is removed from it, but has some deep connection to ours which we are generally uh, unaware of. So I'd like to discuss that a little bit as well um, and draw some conclusions as to whether Planet X is likely to be discovered in the next couple of years, why it hasn't been discovered yet, at least we don't think so, uh, what the barriers are to finding it, and if it is discovered and it ticks certain boxes, whether the astronomical and astrophysical community have got the stomach to, to accept the possibility that this object may be very significant indeed in terms of our um, pursuit of extraterrestrial life.